Good day YouTube. I have Galaxy S7 single SIM. Model is G930F and something goes wrong that sometime my device stuck on Galaxy S7 logo and sometime boot into custom recovery. No operating system is found. Well in this case I can flash any other custom ROM back on it and make the set to boot normally but I am going to flash stock Oreo ROM back on it. In case if your S7 got in same problem or you would like to flash back stock ROM after having custom ROM then you may follow this procedure of downloading Android stock Oreo ROM and then flash it with the help of Odin to make the device back to stock Android. Whenever Samsung mobile phone stuck on Galaxy Boot logo, no booting into ROM then make the device to power off first. For that, we need to press and hold a volume up key, volume down key, home key and power key. Now after when device restart then release only volume down key and then release rest all the keys when the recovery screen appear. We can then power off the device easily from here with both custom or stock recovery. I do not have any data but in case if you have any your data on internal storage then must make a backup of your data. Try to save the data to computer hard drive or move all of it to micro SD card because this procedure will format the S7 internal storage but your memory card will remain same and untouched. Make sure S7 battery should be charged around 80 to 90 percent. A computer and a data cable are required for the flushing procedure. In case of a laptop, then must check the laptop battery should be charged also. If you have your Google account on the device, then go to settings, then to account and sync it once. And after that, must remove your Google account to avoid getting Google verification ID later after flashing stock ROM. Make a new folder on computer hard drive to download the required files from internet and save all of it to that folder. Open your browser and go to sammobile.com where we can find all the Samsung mobile phone stock firmwares. This website wants you to be registered to download the firmware file. Registration procedure is easy. So better to do to get the firmware file totally free. After registration on samemobile.com, then click on firmware, click browse firmware archive, Type the Samsung device model number, select the model then click on search. Next page will open with the firmware. Click select country and select the country of which you want the firmware to download. For example, I will go for United Arab Emirates. Next page will open with all the firmwares of selected country. Go for the latest release firmware by looking to the releasing date. Click on it. Next page of firmware with detail will open. Now click on Odin to download that file, the one you can see to the right side. After that, click on wait and download. A small countdown timer window will get open. Wait for the timer to finish and then we'll see the download option at the bottom to the right side. Click it and download the firmware file. Download Samsung USB drivers and install it first on Windows. By the way, I am using Windows 7 64-bit with no issues whenever I flash a firmware file on any mobile phones. Unzip Odin. Make a new folder for unzipping firmware files.
open Odin by double clicking on it. Click first BL, then go to the downloaded and unzip from your folder, then select the file start from BL, then click open. Now click AP and select AP file in same way. Odin will take a little time opening this particular file. So wait. And now select CP file and then CSC file. After that, Odin is ready for flashing. It is time to boot Galaxy S7 into Odin mode. Check the device must be power off. Press and hold volume down key first, then home key and then power key. Soon a warning screen will appear, then release all the keys. Then press volume up key for once to continue. Connect the data cable with mobile phone now and better to check the other side of cable must be connected with computer. Soon Windows will start installing drivers after the device connect it with Windows for the first time only. When Windows finish installing drivers then Odin will show number sign which means that device is connected properly. So simply click start on Odin. The flashing will get start and will take a time. To avoid interruption during flashing, do not unplug cable from any side. Do not open anything on computer. Do not plug in any other USB media to the computer USB port. Wait and watch until flashing get complete. Soon Odin will show a pass message and threads completed. Mobile phone will restart. Disconnect the cable from mobile phone. Close Odin. Computer work done. And mobile phone will boot into stock recovery doing erasing thing to make the stock ROM work perfectly. Wait for it and soon device will start booting into stock ROM for the first time which will take more time. Now complete the setup screen. Finally, the Samsung Galaxy S7 is booted up having stock Android Oreo ROM. Simply log in your Google account back to get all contacts and other stuff. Enjoy the stock ROM and enjoy your life. And subscribe my channel and stay connected. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. We'll see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.